Hey there, Dew Drops. It's Diane from Coravina. How are you? Happy Monday. Hope your weekend was awesome. <laughs> Hope everything's good. I really do. Everything's going good here. We're COVID free. I got one kid out of school, but we're good. We're good. So, um, let's get started. I've been thinking a lot. I've been going through all of my scarves because there's a lot. And I've been looking at what I've got. And I've got beautiful scarves that I love. But we really kind of stay away from neutrals. And it's just because the other colors are so much fun. But everybody likes to wear a good neutral. So that's what we're going to work on this week. We are working on neutral browns and creams, okay? And I read some of your comments, and I think you guys are into neutrals. Maybe I'm the one who just likes the bolder colors better. Let me show you what our inspiration is here today. Ooh, here we go. We've got some nice browns and creams. A little bit of black thrown in there for a little dimension. Okay, so... Let me show you what we've got. We've got our black here. We have got dark brown. This is our medium cream. And then we've got our light cream here. Okay, I think I think that's a pretty close match. I worked hard on that one. And this one, I hope it works. I hope it works. It is supposed to be the big brown. Okay. So the reason I spent so much time on this is because that brown actually looks like it has a little bit of pink or red in it to me. So I've been spending a lot of time trying to match it. And here are my testers. All right. So I do this for almost every scarf to try and get our colors to go correctly. All right. So we're going to make a beautiful scarf while you watch. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. So I'm going to move these down here and we will get going. I have no plan for today. So wish me luck. And let me switch to our different cameras. Here we go. Excellent. All right. So first things first, same thing we always do. We're going to drop a line of paint straight down the center of the tray. Oh, look, it's nice, clean, fresh water. You can't even see it. It is dispersing right over the surface of the tray. I realize now that I forgot to skim it with newspaper. That is always a really good first step, but it's okay. Hmm, what did I think about doing? I was thinking about doing something today, and now I've, I have lost my train of thought. What if, what if we do an inchworm pattern? Because it's been a while since we've done this. It's going to depend entirely on our paint and how it wants to drop. And I mean that by... Like if our bottles get difficult, ooh, like that, yuck. Might take a little bit more time. Um, if our paint starts to crackle, it might take a little bit more time. See, that brown crackled a little bit. I don't know, this might not be a good pattern today. But it's been a while since I've done this, and I do enjoy them so much. Everybody good? Oh, our black is not mixed up nearly enough. I don't know if you can see it. I've got some kind of snakes. They kind of look like snakes. A drop will sink to the bottom of the tray, and then you'll get just a little bit um, that comes up to the surface in a line. Hmm. As of right now, I'm not digging it. Here, maybe we'll come through and we'll do a bunch of drops everywhere. How about that? And maybe we can flick, we can change to flicking our paint a little bit later. We'll just see how it goes. It's going to be really pretty neutral. I was looking at some of my stone pattern scarves today. And I just think they're so pretty. It's hard to stop, you know, when you're doing them because who doesn't love to play with the tools? If you're a marbler, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but they are just really pretty. And one of the reasons I was drawn to this pattern is because that brown that I worried so much about, it was very much like a, like a deeper blush or a skin tone. Like there was pink to it. And I could see that being, you know, really pretty with different skin tones. So this week is kind of, it's about the neutrals, but also my own little 
um, pursuit of really getting in there and mixing colors appropriately, you know? Because I'm like, when you look at these beautiful palettes, and I've got some really pretty ones lined up for the next couple of weeks, you can see how gorgeous the colors are. And the color just makes it, you know? If you don't get the color right, it's a little sad. For me, anyways. All right, going everywhere. I like it. I can see a couple of spots where I maybe that are being affected a little bit because I did not um, do the newspaper thing, and that'll be it'll be fine. <laughs> we might see it on our scarf. That's why I mention it. Might see some white creeping in here or there, and that's just the absence of paint on the scarf. So I hope y'all can hear me today. Oh, I was so upset <laughs> yeah, on Friday about the uh, about the volume. I just didn't even want to talk about it. You know, it's one of those weeks. It was a stressful week last week. I hope everybody's doing well. Everybody's recovered. Um, or at least can breathe a little bit. There we go. Popping a bubble. So I've got a couple bubbles here. I'm just going to pop them real quick. What happens when we leave a little bubble on the surface of our tray is that we get a circle sized, a bubble sized circle on our silk when we dip it down. All right, so we've got a lot of paint on our tray. I think it looks really good. We're gonna start moving some stuff. Are we, hmm, are we? No, I think we're gonna dip it like this because this is gonna look so cool, guys. Hmm, maybe we should flick just a little bit. What do you think? I think I should hurry up if I'm gonna do this. Hmm. What color should we flick? What color? I think we're going to flick a little bit of white, believe it or not. I didn't put any white on the tray. Oh, oh no. <laughs> now there's a big clump of white. Oh, I messed that up. All right. Ah, well, we're going to have like a nice splattering of white in that one spot. That's okay. It's abstract. We're going abstract today. Looks like little stars, little constellations in our scarf today. Okay, so let's lower our scarf down. Let's see what we've got here. See if we can avoid our areas where there are no color on the scarf. All right, so we've got our six foot long scarf and we're going to try and dip it down in our tray of water without touching the sides. Here we go. guys I was concentrating super hard I think we have achieved it excellent excellent so now we are going to remove our silk scarf from our frame here this is a fun one that is an abstract we could have done a lot of stuff with this. We could have used our tools. We could have just used the stylus and freehanded it. That's always fun. But I really do like just the circle sometimes. It looks like little stars or little constellations. All right. Let me move some stuff around here. All right, guys. So here's our inspiration. You think we did it? I, I hope so. All right. So we're going to pull this thing out of the water. Let's see what happens. All right, you're gonna see dripping and running. That's totally normal. That's just paint or water that was not absorbed by yourself. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what we've got. One, two, three. Isn't that fun? I think this is so fun. Does it really look animal print like? But it's the colors. And you can see that the browns have a little bit more pink in them. Can you see that really peachy one in there? Ooh, I really, really like this one. Ooh, okay, so let me put it down in the rinse bucket. All right, it always looks different in the water, out of the water, and in the rinse bucket, okay? So hold on just a sec. Ooh, 
super fun. I'm excited about this one. I can't wait to see it dry. So what happens next is I will, <laughs> I'll soak it and then I'll dry it and then I'll iron it, post pictures for you guys so we can compare the scarf to our inspiration picture. So I'll post those, if not tonight, then tomorrow morning in our Facebook group. Dewdrops, I hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you're excited about something. Thanks for spending some time with me. And we'll be back tomorrow working on more marbled scarves or paper. All right. Remember, guys, live colorfully. And happily. And happily. Goodbye. Hi. Say, say hi for us. Hi. Bye. Hi. Bye. I'm Cora.